Hello everyone, welcome to Dentitionary. Today, I'll be providing you some important topics of human embryology and histology, which covers nearly 20 to 25% of your professional papers. I won't be taking much of your time and gonna wrap this up shortly. So, let's begin. Firstly, let us summarize the short notes of human embryology, which includes the spermatogenesis, oogenesis, which I have already mentioned in the lectures of human physiology. Next, we have short notes on notochords, most frequently asked question, cleft palate and cleft lips, derivatives of neural crest and neural crest, and lastly, the hair lip. Moving ahead, we have the long notes, which includes the development of face, tongue, palate, thyroid gland and the derivatives of pharyngeal arches. Okay, so development of face, I have provided you a separate video, right? Development of palate and development of face you will find in your book. These three questions are most frequently asked question in terms of development. Development of thyroid, I have provided you some important pics or the diagrams which you must draw in your answer which I will mention in the further slides. Derivatives of pharyngeal arches. Pharyngeal arches, the first, second, third, fourth and sixth pharyngeal arches. Diagram should be drawn properly and you must mention there the structures attached to it. Next. Yeah, so these are the important diagrams which you must mention or you must draw in your answer sheet. Like for development of notochord, this is the diagram. I have taken it from your textbook. Next, we have the before and after for the formation of pharyngeal arches. See, this I was mentioning the first, second, third, fourth, and sixth. Fifth disappears after formation. Okay, keep that in mind. The fifth pharyngeal arch disappears after formation. Please mark these diagrams in your book. Taking it forward, we have the diagram for development of thyroid gland. Let me mention it. It is the diagram for development of thyroid gland. Where the foramen cecum elongates to form the thyroglossal duct, which further bifurcates into the lower end leads to formation of thyroid okay so these are the two lobes for thyroid gland and this is the lateral thyroid gland deriving from the fourth pouch so these are the pharyngeal pouch pouches so it derived from the fourth pouch okay here also you can see the diagram next we have the development of palate and the anomalies associated to it. So this is the diagram for development and these are the anomalies which are known as the cleft palate. Okay, cleft palate. Let me explain you this. In the first one we have the complete cleft with bilateral hair lip. This is the complete cleft with bilateral hair leaf. Number A, this one. Okay, let me erase this. Okay, so this one, number A, is the complete cleft with bilateral hair leaf. This is the unilateral one. See, there is only one bifurcation. Here it was two, so it was bilateral. It's unilateral. Okay, unilateral cleft palate and cleft of upper lip. Third one is the midline cleft. No bifurcation here or there. It's just the midline cleft. Point number D is the cleft of soft palate. Just the palatal area, cleft of soft palate. Okay. And lastly, we have the bifid uvula. See? You can see 
the bifidibula bifurcation of soft palate midline bifurcation unilateral and bilateral hope so it is clear to you all is it clear next moving ahead we have the varieties of hair lip in the varieties of hair lip you can see the picture let me explain some of the points firstly from point a to c okay let me explain this from a to c these are the unilateral hair clip bilateral hair clip and midline hair clip okay or midline cleft of upper lip unilateral hair lip means the failure of fusion of maxillary process with the medial nasal process of one side look at this okay next we have the bilateral means fusion of both the maxillary processes and the midline ones means defective development of the lowermost part of fronto nasal process which you can see here right so unilateral one means from a b and c bilateral ones means the point number d and point number e which is the midline cleft okay you can see the midline cleft and when it comes for the lower lip is the point number f so let me summarize this one again from a to c from a to c it's the unilateral hair lip unilateral okay for point d is the bilateral hair clip where the failure of fusion of both the maxillary process see both the maxillary process failure take place for point number e it is the midline cleft all these are for the upper lip okay when it comes to point number f it is the cleft of the lower lip when the two mandibular processes do not fuse with each other the lower lip shows a defect in the midline look at this yes okay hope so this much is clear to you all next we have the development of face these diagrams should be drawn in your answer sheet while you write answer on development of face okay these are some of the diagrams there are more diagrams given in your book you can take help from them as well so here's the end of human embryology taking on it uh, taking to the as histology part we have this topics for histology i would suggest write 5 to 6 lines regarding the points uh, regarding the topic sorry and draw h any diagram for it okay these two things are more than enough for histology answers rarely one or two questions are asked in your paper very rare it's very rare so five to six lines about it and then the h any diagram with proper labeling yes with proper labeling okay so what are the topics they are the thymus thyroid gland salivary glands including parotid submandibular and sublingual separately okay tonsils palatine tonsil and lastly the tongue in the development of tongue i have mentioned about the histology of tongue you can go through that video i will be providing you the link in our bio okay so these are the four points which these are the four topics which you must prepare before your exams okay so that's it for human histology as well so guys all the very best for your upcoming exams keep learning and keep supporting our channel dentistry all the very best thank you